<laughs> hi, hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Bruno Brito, the documentary the movie and the stuff. And today we're gonna watch Good Will Hunting, Matt Damon and Robin Williams. And it, I think this movie was the first one of Matt Damon, not certain, but it was written by Matt Damon and Ben, ben Affleck because they are best friends. And they are both hot, by the way. I only know that it's about like a professor and a very smart student. And the professor puts some kind of like formula who is impossible and the student does the formula. That's it. I think that's the first time in my channel that I'm doing Robin Williams movie. Um, I never did uh, Jumanji or the one that where he's a hot gay one, you know, Mrs. Doubtfire, something like that. But okay, I don't have a lot else to say, so let's go. I will open like this video in case you do, you can subscribe, give it a like and help me out. And also I have a Patreon, I'm gonna post reactions, aliases and post on these videos. Everything has a link in the description, that's it and let's go. Oh, Ben Affleck is in the movie also, okay, I didn't know this. As Kaz got it. Is that cast for a first movie? I think I'm wrong, I think it's not the first movie. Casey Affleck, okay. They're gonna be brothers, because it makes sense. <gasps> you kidding me, there's Danny Elfman. You kidding me. He does the songs of Death for Drive, he's not there before Christmas. Always hot. Nice. Okay, pause. I don't think I have subtitles. I also put an advanced Fourier system on the main hallway chalkboard. Former winners include okay. the laureates, Fields Medal winners. Oh, so you can resolve. It's not impossible. I thought it was impossible, you know. If you have any questions, I'm sure that Tom has the answers. Oh, nice Tom. Oh, he's not a student. Like I'd waste my energy spreading my legs for that Tootsie Roll dick. But go home and give it a tug yourself. Tootsie Roll! Tootsie <laughs> Oh, that's Kid Jaffa. He's missing a tooth, well. Okay, they're not brothers here. Where are you going? I'm gonna take off. Fuck you, you're taking off. It's like, what, 10 o'clock? I'm tired. He just sitting down. <laughs> He's gonna answer. Fast like that. Oh. Stop rushing me back. Stop crowding the plane. Which one will it be? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was. Come on. Come on. That's a jackpot. I know you. Oh my god. <laughs> That's just terrifying. I'm in your applied theories class. We're all up at the math and science building. Come here. It's Saturday. <laughs> Unless you want to have a drink with me tonight. Okay, stop her. We just couldn't wait until Monday to find out. Find out what? Who proved the theorem? He's correct. Who did this? Jack. It wasn't me. There's a girl with the striped pants. She's got a nice ass. Yeah, that's her own nice ass. He's a guy she's with. A fucking guinea, I hate that little bitch. We all know. Really, you're talking about the only woman who has somebody here? Logan, how much money you got on you? I said I get change when I get the snow cone. I <laughs> pulled up. Why don't you just give me my sandwich and stop being a prick? Why are you oh. gonna be an asshole? What am I? Fucking sandwich welfare? I think you should establish. So why you bought it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you scared me. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Let's punch them. We just seen the guy 15 minutes ago at the park. If he was gonna fight him, we should fight him then. We're eating snacks now. Shut up, Morgan. You're going. I'm not going. So don't go. I'm not go. going. He's gonna go. Let me tell you something. If you're not out there in two fucking seconds. When I'm done with them, you're on next. We went to kindergarten together. <laughs> we do. <laughs> I, I, I love this movie. <laughs> Where's Morgan? Thank you, Mark. <laughs> the cops. Hey, what's up, fellas? Thanks for coming out. Whoa, whoa. Ah, 
Oh, really? <coughs> Nobody knows who is it. So without further ado, come forward to Silent Road and receive thy prize. Somebody's gonna lie about it and say that he was them. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint my spectators, but it seems there will be no unmasking here today. And there is a problem on the board right now that took us more than two years to prove. And he didn't want to walk. Wait, he beat a cop and he get out one day later. Oh, he's white. When's he arriving? Next week. Oh, okay. It's gonna be a trial, I think. Nobody seen him, like, fish and stuff? Sorry. What do you do? Sorry. That's people's work, you can't graffiti here. Don't you walk away from me! Hey, fuck you! Oh, you're a clever one. What's your name? It's correct. Say sorry. I mean, how hot is it to push a motherfucking broom around the room? Fired from pushing it. Wait, he got fired. I get fired because management was restructuring. Yeah, restructuring amount of retard they were to fall. <laughs> Why did you get fired, Will? Come on. Uh, management was restructuring. <laughs> <laughs> My uncle could probably get you on a demo tape. Can you do that? You kidding me? I asked you yesterday if I could get a job. And I told you no yesterday. Just this. It's up case. It's up case. It's up in case. <laughs> I'm gonna have to bust a little move on them half and honey's down the end of the pot. I know it. Works magic. Get some pussy balls. <laughs> so stupid. Eh? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? Fine. So I think I had a class with you. Oh, yeah? What class? This I love people. The first going around. I think that's what it was. <laughs> you don't necessarily. Oh, okay. A problem. It must have been a survey course then, huh? Yeah, it was. It was surveys. Right. You should check it out. It's a good course. It's a good, a good class. Oh. How'd you like that course? Ah, what's the problem, dude? Frankly, I was just hoping you might give me some insight into the evolution of the market economy in the southern... I don't give a fuck about you. The Revolutionary War, the economic modalities, especially... He's gonna answer. ...in the southern colony. Matt Demo. Gonna be in here regurgitating Gordon Wood. Talking about, you know, the pre-revolutionary utopia. Yes, humiliate him. Were you going to plagiarize the whole thing for us? Do you have any thoughts of, of your own on this matter? Or do you, is that your thing? You come into a bar? You, yes. Is your own idea just to impress some girls? Embarrass my friend? See, Say it. Then. But, I mean, if you have a problem like that, I mean, we could just step outside. We could figure it out. No, nah, man, there's no problem. I just go, why are you like me now? <laughs> Three minutes in fucking place you run into a barn, yeah? <laughs> okay, so he's not only smart in math. You're an idiot. I've been sitting over there for 45 minutes waiting for you to come and talk to me. But I'm tired now and I have to go home. And I couldn't sit there anymore waiting for you. Well, thank you for the honesty. Get up early and waste some more money on my overpriced education. No, I didn't mean you. I... Ah, that's all right. There's my number. So maybe we can go out for coffee somewhere. Well, thank you. Maybe we could just get together and eat a bunch of caramels. And think about it, it's as arbitrary as drinking coffee. Uh, right then. Okay, he's real though. Hey, fuck you, He goes to fucking Barney's right now. Hey, wait, hold on. trip. <laughs> really? Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? <laughs> what? They, okay, they were stupid. Okay, they're teenagers. <laughs> I mean, how old are them? Beginning college? Maybe nobody's beginning college, but like 20 years? This is the buildings and grounds office. Yeah, what can I do for you? I just need the name of the student who works here. He's not a student. I can't give you his name unless you have a complaint. This is Professor Lambeau. And this is Professor Hayes. <laughs> Got this job through his PO, you can call him. PO? Yeah, parole officer. Oh, Will Hunting. Wait, good Will Hunting. I thought Will Hunting, it mean Hunting Will, you know, like we all living. But no, it's his name. Eh? <laughs> Just can't believe it. June 93, assault. September 93, assault. I mean, the tells. Joke. January 95, impersonating an officer. Mayhem, theft, resistance. My God. All overturned. I'm also aware that you've been through several foster homes. 
The state removed you from three because of serious physical abuse. But you hit a cop, you're going in. Ah, she did. $50,000 bail. Thank you. How are you? I was wondering if he'd call me. Yeah, I'm busy. I'm busy. Hey. What's up, baby? You want some of my ass? Perfect. I remember you from Juvie. How you doing? What you doing? Um, well, actually, this is a this is just a shot in the dark, but uh, there's no chance that you're uh, pre-law, is there? You kidding me? She's gonna be the lawyer. The fuck do you want? I'm Gerald Lambo, professor. You told to fuck himself. Okay. He's agreed to release you under my supervision. Really? But under two conditions. One of those. First condition is that you meet with me every week. Why? And the second condition is that that you see a therapist. <laughs> He's not gonna do this. All right, I'll do the math, but I'm not gonna meet with any fucking therapist. Oh, okay. Stop being weird. Dude. He's such a weird professor. Okay. <laughs> I still don't understand why Hobby Williams getting in the plan. Help yourself. Oh, he's gonna lie. Read your book and, okay. Uh, and so no more shenanigans, no more shenanigans. Boom, 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 boom. You know, you start dancing. Boom, boom, just boom, yes. <laughs> uh, this is therapy. <laughs> do you find it hard to hide the fact that you're gay? What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? I don't care if you putt from the rough. What are you talking Putting from the rough. <laughs> a difficult theorem can be like a symphony. Stop it's it. Very ironic. Hi, uh, Jerry. Hey, you know something? I can't do this pro bono work anymore. It's just not. It's not worth it. <laughs> okay, you are in your bed, Will. Now. Hey, what's the problem with being gay? What do you see? Something's in my room. He's lying. I'm pretty certain. He's touching me down there. You don't have to be. Why everyone's here? What the fuck? What is this? This is so weird. Why everyone's here? Can make a lot of love before the sun goes down. Yeah, he was obviously just was lying. Afternoon delight. Hey, afternoon delight. Is this just, you know, because he's very smarter? Sorry, Rich. I've better things to do with my time. Oh, Bobby really is gonna be the therapist. Just to be my um my roommate in college. It's also very important in a clinical situation. Why is trust the most important? Okay, so they're gonna get along. Everyone's back. Welcome back, everybody. Pleasure. Can you wait for the class to end? Professor Gerald Lambeau, Fields Medal winner for combinatorial mathematics. Hello. Okay, everybody, that's it for today. Thanks. Um, we'll see you Monday. We'll be talking about Freud, why he did enough cocaine to kill a small horse. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be perfect. Eh? So how long has it been since we've seen each other? Before Nancy died. I was in Paris. It was that damn conference. I got your card. It was nice. Okay. But he's, um, he's a bit defensive. Mm. He's from Southie. Yeah. Poor genius from Southie. Both. Barry. Yeah. Henry. Yeah. Not Rick. Sean, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just meet with him. Once a week. Please. Oh, only once a week? That's easy. This is Sean McGuire, Will Hunting. How are you? They gonna stay here? Yeah, let's do it. I'm pumped. Let's let the healing begin. Would you excuse us? Yeah, please, Tom. You too, Jerry. Yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, what do you expect? Hey, I'm not here for a fucking book report. They're your books. Why don't you read them? I did. I had to. That must have taken you a long time. Yeah, I did. Yes, talk. You know you'd be better off shoving that cigarette up your ass. It'd probably be healthier for you. Yeah, I know. It really gets in the way of my yoga. <laughs> you work out, huh? No, I fight. What, you lift? Yeah. What do you bench? 285. What do you bench? You paint that? You don't make. <laughs> they call it my number because the colors are fascinating to me. Are they really? What about that? I think you're about one step away from cutting your fucking hair off. Really? Oh, yeah. Thank you. I think I should... oh, maybe you're in the middle of a storm, a big fucking storm. Yeah. 
The sky's falling on your head, the waves are crashing over your little boat. The oars are about to snap. Okay, therapy's happening. He's, he's getting to talk. Well, that's it, isn't it? You married the wrong woman? He wants to make him mad. Won't she leave you? Will she, you know, bang some other guy? If you ever disrespect my wife again, I will end you. I will fucking end you. Time's up. I'll see you next week. At ease, gentlemen. He's gonna say, I love him. <laughs> I'll understand if you don't want to meet with him again. Thursday, 4 o'clock. Make sure the kid's here. Great. So he's alone. I mean, we was gonna be a nice distraction. Well, you look lovely in those glasses. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, I figured out at the end, my brain's gonna be worth two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Congrats. Well, I was gonna, you know, experiment on you for anatomy class, but obviously. In that case, that's fine. Oh, he's the See but... My magic trick, Scott. Of course. All right. Promised. Cagamos. Wait, wait, you need my wand. All right, give me a hit. Thank you. All right. Make all these cameras disappear. He's gonna put it in his mouth. Two, three. <gasps> you happen to get a good night kiss? No, you know, I tell you, I was hoping to get a good night late. <laughs> Well, instead of, like, a kiss. Oh my god, why am I smiling? I'm blushing. <laughs> I think I got some of your pickle. <laughs> and let's go. Okay, I'm loving the movie so far. This is really nice. You gotta think for swans, is this like a fetish? Wow, you don't stop talking, right? You don't have the faintest idea of what you're talking about. Why, thank you. You've never been out of Boston. So if I asked you about art, you'd probably give me the skinny on every art book ever written. Probably. I bet you can't tell me what it smells like in the Sistine Chapel. I actually stood there and looked up at that beautiful ceiling. Yeah, because he's poor. But you can't tell me what it feels like to wake up next to a woman and feel truly happy. I ask you about war, you probably uh, throw Shakespeare at me, right? You've never held your best friend's head in your lap and watch him gasp. He lived it. Because that only occurs when you love something more than you love yourself. I doubt you've ever dared to love anybody that much. I look My God. Do you think I'd know the first thing about how hard your life has been? How you feel? Who you are? Because I read Oliver Twist. Dead. Does that encapsulate you? But you don't want to do that, do you, sport? Wow, congrats, that was a great speech, my god. You're terrified of what you might say. You move, chief. My god, Jesus Christ. Okay, that was great, congrats. That was like a picture day. <laughs> That was it, 10 minutes of talking. Hello? Hello? What, what? Why are you not talking? Why are you calling me again? Ah, wh what's happening here? No smoking. What are we gonna talk, what are we gonna talk about today? Sat there counting the seconds until the session was over. Pretty impressive, actually. He's smart, also. It's simpler this way. It is simple. Sometimes people get lucky. You're a brilliant man. Really? He's offended because other the person saw it. You know, I was on this plane once, and I'm sitting there, and uh. <laughs> you ever been on a plane? No, but it's a fucking joke. It works better if I tell it in the first person. Yeah, it does. I have been late, you know. Good Day for two. you. <laughs> I haven't called her. Christ, you're an amateur. It's different from most of the girls I've been with. So call her up, Romeo. Why? So I can realize she's not that smart, that she's fucking boring? You know, I mean, you don't... What? The girl's like fucking perfect right now. I don't want to ruin that. Maybe you're perfect right now. Maybe you don't want to ruin that. This is Tiger Pig. My wife used to fart when she was nervous. You know, she used to fart in her sleep. <laughs> ah, but Will, she's been dead two years, and that's the shit I remember. <laughs> Wonderful stuff, you know? Little things like that. Imperfections. People call these things imperfections. 
but they're not. Oh, that's the good stuff. Nice. You're not perfect, sport. And let me save you the suspense. She's not perfect either. This girl you met, she isn't perfect either. But the question is whether or not you're perfect for each other. You ever think about getting remarried? My wife's dead. It doesn't have anybody else. I mean, that way you could actually go through the rest of your life without ever really knowing anybody. Yes. Time's up. You know where she lives? Dead. Hello. Hey. I thought you'd call. Say the truth. I was wondering if, uh, if you know, give me another crack at it. You know, let me take you out again. Oh, I can't. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't mean I can't. Like ever. <laughs> I've got to assign the proton spectrum for ibogamy tomorrow. Um. Yeah. All right. This is going great. Is he doing the solution for her? What are you doing here? I couldn't wait till tomorrow. Well, let's go have some fun. <laughs> no, I, I've got to learn this. He's gonna take her. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you really took her for dog? You really? Come on, Misty! Go on, run with that! Come on! <laughs> it's nice that they can have fun. You know, they're smart, but they still do stuff. For having fun. <laughs> it's only one. How much? Let's talk. I have 12 big brothers. You do not have 12. They... Maki, Ricky, Danny, Terry, Mikey, Davey, Timmy, Tommy, Joey, Robbie, Johnny, and Brian. Oh, you know, I read your book last night. Oh, so you're the one. <laughs> do you still have uh, <laughs> So when did you know, like, that she was the one for you? October 21st, 1975. Dad, I love you. You know, you know the fucking day? Thank you. I was going to say this. My friends and I had you know, slept out on the sidewalk all night to get tickets. You got tickets? Yep. We're sitting in the bar waiting for the game to start. And in walks this Oh, we well, met her. Yeah. Did you rush the field? Uh, no, I didn't rush the fucking field. I wasn't there. What? No, I was in a bar having a drink with my future wife. You missed Pudge Fist's home run? Oh, yeah. To have a fucking drink with some lady you never met? Exactly. Yeah, well, what did you say to him? Just slid my ticket across the table and I said, Sorry, guys, I gotta see about a girl. <laughs> That's why I'm not talking right now about some girl I saw at about 20 years ago and how I always regretted not going over and talking to her. I don't regret the six years I had to give up counseling when she got sick, and I don't regret the last years when she got really sick. It was worth it. I sure as hell don't regret missing a damn game. That's regret. Wow. Wow, he knows how to tell stories. I'm very, very useful on the court. I'm extremely tall. Because <laughs> it's nicer than my place. But I've never seen your place. I know. <laughs> she wants to share it. Eh? When am I going to meet your friends and your brothers? Uh, well, they don't really come down here that much. What if I said I would not sleep with you again until you let me meet your friends? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> On behalf of my wiener, can I get like an advance payment? No, it's off. <laughs> Outlook does not look good. Fuck the egg shock. No, nothing. Go back to sleep. I, I plan to. I'm tall. I like wearing shorts. <laughs> That's the reason. Uh, got a stick in the monkey's ass, and Morgan comes running in going, I don't mind this! I don't mind this! <laughs> She's mad. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, can you hear the other shot? Shut the fuck up! I'm gonna break your neck. Shut up! Morgan. Shut okay, <laughs> shut up! Sorry, he told you the story once before. <laughs> no, he got away. That's the point. What, All right, what can happen? Well, here? question. Are you, Come on, are you stop. Fucking... <laughs> I love that they're always fighting. Trouble finding the place? No, I took a cab. What's the jackpot? 12 million. I don't think that'll cover it. Yeah, but it'll cover your sex change operation. <laughs> Nuts? No, thank you. There's everyone after that joke. My phone's been ringing off the hook with job offers. What kind? Well, cutting edge mathematics, think tank. Okay, why don't you tell him? It's great that they're offers, but I, I don't really think he's ready for that. I'm not sure you understand, Sean. Well, what don't I understand? Oh, guys. Oh, nice. Gold would have lost something. Tim would never have heard him. Pretty dramatic, Jerry. No, it isn't, Sean. This boy has that. Okay, but give it time, man. 
In the 1960s, there was a young man graduated from the University of Michigan. Did some brilliant work. It's him. Showed amazing potential. Then he moved to Montana and he blew the competition away. Yeah, so who was he? Ted Kaczynski. I haven't heard. Oh, I thought you were him. Jimmy, go! Who's Ted Kaczynski? Uniform. Still took me over 20 years to do something worthy of a Fields Medal. Well, maybe he doesn't want what you want. Exactly. The boy's in a meeting right now. I set up for him over at McNeil. We've already offered you a position. Nobody in this town works without a retainer, guys. <laughs> it's $84,000 a retainer. year. Retainer. <laughs> you want us to give you cash right now? You're so stupid. Eh? <laughs> you don't have a picture of him. What year is this? 97. You can have a picture. Yeah, you. This is so stupid. I don't know what your reputation is. Okay, so Will did this because he doesn't know, right? He doesn't want to, right? To get higher. It is actually important that I learn this. It's really important. All right. It's me. Yeah? All right. Okay, but teach her. Well, have you studied organic chemistry? A little bit. Oh, just for fun. I mean, for him, it's probably easier. You know, there are very smart people here at Harvard, and even they have to study because this is really hard. And yet... She's gonna tell him for him to go to college. I mean, I look at a piano, I see a bunch of keys, three pedals, and a box of wood. But Beethoven, Mozart, they saw it, they could just play. That him with other stuff. I've been here for four years. And I've only just found you. Well, you found me. No regret. Okay, so I about the jo job after offer. I want you to come to California with me. It's such a serious thing that you can't take it back, and now I'm stuck in California. If someone doesn't really want to be with me, just wish they had a take back. A what? What's the take back? Why the take back? I just want. I can't go to California. So. Why not? Uh, one, because I, I, I've got a job here. And two, because I live here. You can live in the place. You live in the safe little world where no one challenges you and you're scared shitless um, to do don't, anything don't, else. Because don't that tell me about my world. Don't tell me about my world. I mean, you just want to have your little fling with, like, the guy from the other side of town. Then you're going to go off to Stanford. You're going to marry some rich prick who your parents will approve of. Ah, no. Really? You're going to ruin this because you're afraid of it? You know what? I'm afraid, too. Exactly. Fuck it. I want to give it a shot. And at least I'm honest with you. I'm not honest with you. No, what about your 12 brothers? Yes, exactly. I didn't know that, that this isn't fucking surgery, that the motherfucker stabbed me. You don't want to hear that shit, Skylar. I don't do don't, don't tell me you want to hear that I shit. I want to hear it because I want to help you because I help want to be with you. Help me, what the fuck? What do I got, a fucking sign on my back? It's a Okay, you are doing like you're... Okay, everybody has problems, we're good. I want to be say that you don't love me. <laughs> because if you say that... Then it's done. Then I won't call you. Don't say it. I don't know. Wow, like an asshole. He's only doing this because he's afraid. You didn't learn anything about Robin Williams saying about like regret of not talking with the girl. You're gonna be regret of not continuing with her and going to California. They get convinced they're stupid. I hope you appreciate what he's doing. He's doing something for him. You see, you used McLaurin there. Did you ever consider? I'm pretty sure it's right. But did you think of the possibility? That's right. That's right. Just take it home with you. <laughs> He's smarter than him. I'll give you a job myself. I just wanted you to see what was out there. Look, maybe I don't want to spend the rest of my fucking life sitting around explaining shit to people. Exactly. Do you know how easy this is for me? Do you have any fucking idea how easy this is? This is a fucking joke. And I'm sorry you can't do this. I really am, because I wouldn't have to fucking sit here and watch you fumble around and fuck it up. <laughs> I got it. Total waste of my time. Wee, oui, is that important? Sorry. Yeah, so am I. Most days I wish I never met you. Okay. I didn't, I didn't have to walk around with the knowledge that there was someone like you out there. Okay, you're also putting a lot of responsibilities on him. I, I didn't have to watch you throw it all away. <laughs> Stop 
jerking off in my mother's room. Like, like that's the life house. they want. To. It's just sad, bro. Yeah, I'm not saying about him going to academics, but like, do something. So the way I see it, the question isn't, why should you work for the NSA? Why shouldn't? Why shouldn't you? Why shouldn't I work for the NSA? It's a tough one. I don't know. But maybe that code was the location of some rebel army in North Africa or the Middle East, and once they have that location, they bomb the village where the rebels are hiding. Exactly. 100 people that I never met, never had no problem with, get killed. Because of me. So now my buddy's out of work, he can't afford to drive, so he's walking to the fucking job interviews, which sucks because the shrapnel in his ass is giving him chronic hemorrhoids, and meanwhile... He's I thought... So what did I think? I'm holding out for something better. My God. I could be elected president. You feel like you're alone, Will? What? After all that. Do you have a soulmate? He had it. I'm talking about someone who opens up things for you, touches your soul. You with her? I got plenty. Well, name them. Shakespeare, Nietzsche, Frost, O'Connor, Khan. Yeah, of course. Mark, you want. You are bound by nothing. What are you passionate about? What do you want? Go to California. That's real work. That's right. Right, and that's honorable. I'm sure that's why you took that job. I mean, for the honor of it. Not because you needed money. Why did you sneak around at night and finish other people's formulas that only one or two people in the world could do and then lie about? It? You only want to see if you could do it. Because I don't see a lot of honor in that, Will. Where's your soulmate? You want to talk about soulmate? She died. She? Some people will lose a big hand like that and have the sack to ante up again. Look at me. What do you want to do? Go to California. Fuck you. You're the shepherd. <laughs> He's gonna come back? Taking all these uh, job interviews and stuff, so I'm not gonna be just a construction worker. Well, you know, I never really cared about that. Yeah. Do a job interview in California, I don't understand it. I love you. Wow, really? Take care. So coward. Wow, what a coward. You're gonna regret this for the rest of your life. Ah, uh, he didn't want to. Oh my god, that's right. She's mini driver from Speechless. Wait till show her. She's beautiful. Well, if he doesn't show up and I file a report saying he wasn't here and he goes back to jail, it won't be on my conscience. Okay, give me a break, also. So how's your lady? Ah, she's gone. Gone, gone where? Gungo. <laughs> Medical school in California. Really? Yeah. What was this? It's like a week ago. How do you think, though? Way out of here. I want a way out of here for her. I mean, I'm gonna fucking live here the rest of my life. Why? We'll be neighbors, you know, we'll have little kids, fucking take them a little league together up fully field. I'll fucking kill you. Fuck you. You don't owe it to yourself. You owe it to me. Yes. Because tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and I'll be 50. And I'll still be doing this shit. And that's all right. But you can do another thing. It'd be an insult to us if you're still here in 20 years. Hanging around here is a fucking waste of your time. Thank you. You know what the best part of my day is? For about 10 seconds from when I pull up to the curb when I get to your door. Because I think maybe I'll get up there and I'll knock on And he's not gonna be there. No goodbye, no see you later, no nothing. I'm just left. Wow, this is friendship. With the boy. I don't care if you have a rapport with the boy. I don't care if you have a few laughs, even at my expense, but don't you dare undermine. Wow, what's the problem? Because the first thing that happened to him, he was abandoned by the people who were supposed to love him the oh, most. Oh, come on, don't give me that Floyd. Oh, All right. No, uh, so, Why does he hang uh, out with those retarded gorillas, as you call them? Don't infect him with the idea that it's okay to quit, that it's okay to be a failure, because it's not okay, Sean. And if you're angry at me for being being successful, for being... Wow, you think that everything's about you, right? So don't blame me for how your life turned out. It's not my fault. I don't blame you. It's not about you, you mathematical... Exactly. It's about the boy. He's a good kid to push my It's not you. You guessed that? Hi. I can come back. No, come in. Uh, I was just leaving. Go to California. My God. 20 years of counseling. Yeah, I've seen some pretty awful shit. I mean, have you had... My God. Uh, he used to just put a, uh, a wrench, a stick, and a belt on the table and just say choose. My God. 
Well, I gotta go with the belt there, Van. I used to go with the wrench. You know, what is it like? Will has an attachment to saw. Ah, that's a good movie, my god. I, I don't think this reaction is gonna be bad because I'm barely speaking. It's not your fault. Hmm? I know, it's not your fault. He's gonna cry, right? It's not your fault. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> ah, I'm crying. Don't fuck with me, all right? Don't fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. I'm so sorry. Fuck them, okay? I like this movie, my god. Tell me he's gonna go to California and die. Wait, where is he going? I didn't pay attention, shit. Yeah, I'm uh, Will Hunting. I'm here about a position. Could you just have a seat for a moment? I went I went down there and I talked to my boss and my new boss. He seemed like a good guy. Oh, you accepted, okay. Is that what you want? Really? You're not gonna go into California, Doc. So that's so that's it? So we're, we're done? Yeah, that's it. You're a free man. Is it? Thank you, Sean. Uh, thank you, Will. You just violate the uh, patient-doctor relationship. We are normal patient-doctor. Only if you grab my ass. <laughs> Happy birthday. Stella for God, huh, bitch? Fuck it, come on. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Oh, 21. Fuck it. Right, right. Who's first? Come on, who's first? Danny one. boy. Here's your present. The car. This is like, it's the ugliest fucking car I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. Come on, bro. How'd you guys do this? We didn't both scrape together the parts. And it's a good car, dude. The engine's good. The engine's good. Ah, that's so nice of them. Happy 21, Will. I'll be 21, bro. Ah, that's a good movie. Congrats for them. Sean, do you know what the odds are against winning the lottery? About 4 to 1. <laughs> About 30 million to 1. I still have a shot. You know? I mean, you know? Ha! <laughs> you gotta leave your car open! Ah, oh, okay. He really broke up with the girl, I can't believe this. He's not gonna be there. I mean, he has a car, why is he going to his home? He's not there. He's gonna be happy. I'm emotional. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> He's going to forgot. I love that they don't even question. If the professor calls about that job, just tell him, sorry. I had to go see about a girl. Yes. Son of a bitch. He stole my life. <laughs> Okay, I'm happy now. Okay, great movie. Okay, that was Good Will Hunting. Great movie. That was a great movie. I love this movie. My god, that was such a good movie. I don't know what else to tell you. It's very interesting, very well written. All the scenes, even the friends together are so real. I saw the conversations, they messing up with each other, they fighting each other. It's so real. The relationship, the flirting in the beginning. By the way, Will Hunting is a weirder name, but okay. I understand the name. I think it's supposed to be a double meaning. Even in the beginning when he's doing the therapist and he's trying to co control all of them and make them angry. And Robbie Williams understood. Great movie. I love this movie, my god. I really love this story about the professor being like, okay, somebody, somebody that's smarter, they have to do something with their life, but like, it's not an obligation, you know? Not necessarily he has to spend his life as he said, explaining to other people what he's thinking, you know? And I really love this thing. I, I, I knew that he was smarter, but I didn't realize that he was that smart because I thought that he was only a little bit smarter than the professor. I just realized that when he, in the end, when he fights with the professor, the sky guard, and he said, you know what this is to me? This is nothing, this is joke. 
is a joke. And the professor desperate for knowledge in the solve the problem that he doesn't know about. Even though I never understood that like in math, it's just problems that he doesn't have a solution. But okay. <laughs> Math is complicated. I'm not, I was good in math before, but I honestly, I always prefer physics because it was easy. As it's very well written. Congrats, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck. I'm not certain it was the first movie. It was the first movie. Wait a second, let's find out some stuff here. Written by Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, directed by Gus Van Sant. Oh, okay, Good Will Hunting. It was not the first movie. Right after Good Will Hunting, he did uh, Private Ryan, congrats. It win Oscars, two Oscars. Guys, I'm so sorry, I'm learning some stuff. <laughs> oh my god, uh, he did Psycho 98. Uh, disgusting. Oh, he did Fielder. He directed Fielder, the second season. I didn't like it as much, but it was more of a problem with the writing than the thingy. Ah, my day was so hot, guys, I can't. I find him very hot. Wow, congrats for them. Best actor in a supporting role by Robin Williams. Congrats. And best writing and screenplay by Matt Damon by the like, Congrats, they deserve it. Okay, I'm very happy. I'm, I'm so sorry, we're gonna stop talking about this. Stop talking about this. You know, the movie's two hours and five, but like, honestly, go by very fast. Him is telling to the government why he's not gonna work with them. He's speaking what they're gonna do if he crack a code and he's gonna end up in killing people. It's amazing. A great speech. The speech with Hobby Williams speaking about like, you know stuff, but you don't really know because you never feel, you never lived because you're young. It's great. Oh my god, I love this movie. This movie is gonna be great to edit. I say the same stuff about Braveheart that it's gonna be good to edit, and I took like one week. <laughs> but okay, what do you think about this movie? Did you like it? Um, have you watched on theaters? Again, I would love to watch this kind of movies on theaters. Thank you so much for watching this video until here. I really hope you like it. In case you do, you can subscribe, give it a like, and help me out. And also, I have a Patreon. I'm gonna post reactions, LS, and post your next videos. Everything is a link in the description. That's it. Thank you so much, and bye. Everybody hot in this movie, except Casey Affleck.